Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy, Easy Eddie, back at it with another Skyrim video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Wabbajack. Yeah, I know. It's a pretty sick name and it's a pretty sick weapon. Just look at it right now. I'm twirling it around. It looks pretty badass. It's got the faces on the end, it's huge mouths. And that is where the spells conjure up and throw this ball that does weird things. So let me tell you what it actually does. The Wabbajack does 30 base damage, so every hit is 30 damage no matter what. And then a blast from the Wabbajack does, it has an unpredictable effect. So it could explode them, it could turn them into chickens, it can do, it can do like anything. So let me, let me show you this. Let me, let me test it out for you. Alright, see this person right here. Exploded into a fireball and almost one kill, one hit killed him. This guard. Alright, just a lot of damage. It can do a lot of damage, actually. Exploded. It created a rabbit. I don't even know if this rabbit's an actual person. Yeah, it turned that guard into a rabbit. It also can summon a Dramora that is not a friendly Dramora, let me tell you. Like, he won't fight you instantly, but... He'll start fighting other people, and then after everybody else is killed, he'll even start fighting you. So it's just not a friendly deal. So as you see, this thing does some pretty crazy sin. This Wabbajack does some pretty crazy things, and it's actually pretty useful. And it does a pretty good amount of damage, and it can even one hit just obliterate someone into a pile of ash. Now that you've seen what the Wabbajack can do, you're probably wondering where the heck you can get this cool weapon. Well, where you get it is you get it in solitude. And you get it by completing the mission called something, let's see, it's called the Mind of Madness. So you have to talk to Dervenin, and he says that his master is trapped in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Temple. Yeah, the Blue Temple in Solitude. And so you go in there, after you talk to Dervenin, you have to find Dervenin in Solitude. You talk to him, and you go in there, and you enter the Pelagius wing, and then you will see what happens next in this short, just kidding, not short, whole walkthrough slash playthrough of me playing the mission. Alright, here we go. What do you need? My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. And nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? How can I f find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bowl. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Pelagius's hip bone. Why do you need him back? Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The holy flame flickers and dies. We need his return. Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing. And so very worth any inconveniences. Who is your master? He is a great man, but one rarely praised. He rules twin empires that span the length and breadth of our minds. All know him, but few can name him. But... He has forbidden me from saying his name. He says it distracts him, and woe to those who draw his ire. But you will know him when you see him. He's the one who made me like this. How can I get to your master? He stays in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. The doors are locked, and only Falk Firebeard can grant entry. But I hear the maids, Una and Erdi, know how to enter it for cleaning. Surely they could help for such an important matter. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's this crazy madman old man that says his master is in the blue palace in the Pelagius room or Pelagius room or quarter or whatever that gets called. And he wants me to go find his master. His master hasn't come out in years. And but he won't tell me who his master is. But it makes us he makes him sound like he's a god or something. Because he says like that he made he made the the guy talking said that his master made him the way he is. Well, 
No luck with him. Talk to one of the maids. Una. Watch your feet. We just clean there. I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Not in your life. I think they said Pelagius. in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdie going in every year to clean out the spiders. Falk asked me to check it out. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. If Erdie caught me chatting, I'd never hear the end of it. Alright, so there's a ghost in there. Apparently there's a ghost in the Pelagius wing. Like, of Pelagius himself. They called him Pelagius the Mad, so he, and they said it was a dark rule, so he must be kind of evil or bad or something, but either way, we're going in. Okay, it's all ruined and dirty. Lydia might have to fight some ghosts. Hopefully not, but... Okay, up we go. They definitely don't let anybody in here. I keep expecting a jump scare. Oh my god. That's... <laughs> as I was saying that... Okay. Shit. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. But dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporty. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho oh, ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rump? Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Okay, hold up. We're going to pause. So when I was walking through the hallway, I was just saying, the, through the hallway in the actual place, I was just saying, I keep expecting a jump scare, and right as I finished that, the screen went black, and it made that noise, and I kind of like jumped a little bit. It kind of scared me a little bit. But, okay, so we're here, and this guy kind of reminds me of a jester, which I'm assuming the guy we're looking at in the background, the guy, not the, not Pelagius the Mad, but this other guy seems like a jester, kind of. Like, he always, like, laughs weirdly, and... He seemed kind of cuckoo. Like he said, he's talking about how he loved how Pelagius and Mad was a bad ruler or whatever. And all that. But, okay, so here we go. We're going to hear what he has to say. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Who were you talking to? Pelagius the third. Now, surely. Even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. <laughs> what the heck? Outlawed death. Wait, where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh. What kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know! A death threat, written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well? Spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. 
Little joke. Sounds like Shrek. But seriously, what's the message? I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Where are you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? What? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, what was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. Ha <laughs> I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! No matter. But honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know, sir. I don't know who you are. Wrong! Actually, you Sartre. I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. See Agora. Daedric Prince of Madness at your service. So does that mean you'll leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome! To the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use the web attack! Huh? The hell is a wabachock? Use the wabachack to wabajack to escape from Pelagius's Pelagius's mind. Okay, what the hell is a wabachack? Okay, well let's just. Ah! Now this is a sad. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, dead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. I knew it. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Okay, so this is his confidence. This little guy right here is his confidence. I don't know how to get rid of him. We got confidence, anger, self-doubt. And anger and self-doubt are destroying his confidence. Okay, 
That's the best you can do! Ah. Ah. I'll kill you! Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Okay, I'm a little confused. Do I have to kill confidence? Fine, we're gonna kill him. I killed him. Oh, here he is. Hey. Got something to say? Huh? Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. And continue hating everyone else. Okay. Well, I beat confidence. Now... On to the next one. <laughs> I think you just have to beat... So here, I'll, I'll test it out in the next one here. What do we have next? You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. Okay. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Got some wolves. A goat? What's so scary about a goat? Bandit chief fighting the goat. Get out of here. What are you? Yes. Little Pelagius. Yes. Pelagius. Fears himself. Oh shit, a hag raven. Who are you? A sultry maiden. More nightmares? He's tormented. A flame matron arc. Okay. Took him out. Now they have a campfire. It's becoming more peaceful. One more thing at the fight, I bet. Hmm? A dragon priest, holy shit. Well, now that's something to throw about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. Yes. We'll both be home in no time. Oh, let's look at this chest. Oh, I can't search it. I thought it'd be something cool in there. Can't talk to him? Alright. So we got rid of his nightmares. His dreaming good. His confidence is back. Now, let's find out what the next thing we have to do is. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see... Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered. Anyone. Okay, so his mom's kind of sounds crazy too. I don't really know what it's supposed to do, but I'm just gonna run in here. Probably take out people. Could be anyone. What do we have up here? The objective here is simple and simple. Use your wabba now, then defeat the enemy. But they do the same. What the hell? We got like people fighting. I'm using my 
lava jock. Here. Hey, get out of here. Okay, that makes sense. And I was supposed to hit those actual people. <laughs> oh, okay. A few hours later. Took me forever to do that. I didn't realize I was actually supposed to hit those people and not the things fighting. I don't know. I must have got this outfit instantly when I trap, like, when it took me into this realm. They must have, he must have gave me this outfit. I have a saying. I'm not going to feel what you have to like. Or something like that. I've done it. I've fixed Pelagius's mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. Fly! They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? Pelagius Septum the Third. Once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? You've taken me back. Does this mean we're going I'm not to going to oh, feed what you have to I can't wait to. Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you a hit, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabba Jack as a symbol of my. I'll just take it out. Go <laughs> take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself at the new Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! <laughs> okay, well. I now have the Wabajack. The Wabajack. Let's find out what the Wabajack actually is. The Wabajack. It's an unpredictable effect with every blast. <laughs> Let's quick save. What's the Wabjack gonna do to this guard? Find it. Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh shit! All of a sudden, I've got a Dramora with me. Oh shit! I just killed him instantly. This is so cool. It just does random things. It's like that. Like a summon a Dramora. Absolutely obliterated. What's it gonna do to her? I made her a chicken! She's a chicken! That is really funny. 
It can make him a chicken. He's got a dagger. Oh, Dramora. The Dramora is not friendly. Actually, he made the chef into Dramora. Now he's a rabbit. Haha. <laughs> this is cool. This is the Wabajack, ladies and gentlemen. And how you do it, how you get this, is by doing the mission I just showed you. 